A local filmmaker just won a Telly Award for his docudrama, The Black Walnut. It raises awareness about prostate cancer, especially in African American men who are at higher risk. Center News Science Kara Dixon has more from the film's creator on this very important message. Terrence Affer Anderson's talents and experiences all came together to make this film in hopes of saving lives. I uh, uh, have always been a bit of a storyteller. You know, I started uh, writing poetry at the age of seven. And since Affer Anderson's love of writing has led him from the stage to the screen. Uh, being a, a playwright and a uh, writer, uh, I figured I would do something uh, novel and different that would uh, get men to pay attention. That's through the Black Walnut. Affer Anderson and co-producer Greg Boyd filmed it all here in Hampton Roads to bring awareness to something personal. African American men are diagnosed uh, with prostate cancer and uh, die from prostate cancer at a, a woefully disproportionate rate. And uh, I was diagnosed myself in uh, 2009, uh, and I had the benefit of early detection. But now he's doing it through film. The Black Walnut won a Telly Award, which has recognized video and film excellence for four decades. It's decades he's hoping to help save in other people's lives by bringing awareness to screenings. Black men are more likely to get prostate cancer and twice as likely to die. And although the main character is fictional, others in the story aren't. Nine uh, actual prostate cancer survivors uh, who are in supporting roles. And they tell their own stories in their context. He says others from the film also took this as an opportunity to get screened. And now he's asking for loved ones, especially women, to make sure others get screened too. So the role that women play in men's lives, um, uh, husbands, fathers, brothers, uh, loved ones, um, it's very, very important. Women can get a man to do what they need to do when it comes to their own health care. Alfred Anderson says they had to put a halt on screenings due to COVID-19, but they've received a grant to put on screenings throughout Hampton Roads and the D.C. area. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.